Hello YouTubers, this is Max again. I've got a little issue with my CLK320 W209. This is a 2004 car. 722.6. So my transmission decided to go into the limp mode. It means getting stuck into the second gear, not being able to put it in R, reverse, or P, I had to turn off the car to put it in P or R. So, so basically I want to check the TCU to see if it's affected by the transmission fluid. It's a funny story which is uh, actually very coming with these cars so let's have a look at the TCU here this is an Australian car so it's a right hand steering car this is the passenger footwell I've removed already the floor mat so now what you need to do is just pull away this gently away and work it out like that and here's the foam over there just need to gently gently pull the foam out and here we got the TCU underneath that aluminium shield can you see this so easy all right this is prone to have the oil so <laughs> it's funny because uh, transmission fluid uh, finds its way toward this TCU and this is one of the common issues with this car so I'm going to check to see if I've got a fluid transmission fluid inside this TCU or not stay tuned to take the bolts you need number 10 socket don't lose it there there is one underneath over there I can almost see that it's gonna be hard for me to do filming as well as just like taking bolts so as far as I can see there is one over there Let's take this out. So the third one is over there. You can see my first one was, uh, I can see all already. I can see transmission fluid. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's dig in. All right, so far I've taken three, 10 bolts. Almost coming off. Force it out, just want to slowly take it out. Right here it is, and I can already see some. It's a bit wet, I would say. Look at this. Let me get some focus. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but <laughs> I can see something. Let's take the TCU out and let's have a look at it. All right, this computer, as you can see, this is the parking assist TCU. So take this off and underneath, you'll notice that there is the transmission control unit and the harness is wet with fluid that is where coming from see the fluid over here so this is the transmission control it, unit it's only the connector but uh, I would say uh, not that bad actually it was I don't know 
There's nothing dripping off it, I would say. I have to clean, uh, actually I have to clean these harnesses and find a source of leak and see where we can go from here. P0705 is the generic code I get from my generic Bluetooth cheap scanner. Read codes again. Three codes P2314, P2315, P240C. The P240C, I would say, I would say, is a bit problematic. The other ones stored even, they're all stored even. So, what happens if I erase it? Yes, codes cleared. Okay, now what I do, press OK. Let's what I do, wait ten seconds and then. position and I'll go back F3 control modules and drive transmission read codes System pass, no faults found. So, kind of success. So now we have to look at the live data to check the gear shifters function. Let's have a look. The actual gear and selected gear the emergency running now it's n n n n n n r p p and p so the gear shifter seems to be working perfectly according to live data here is after resetting the tcu the gear is in P actually, it's showing R and the car doesn't start. So at this stage I'm almost 100% sure that my gear shifter has gone because now the car is in park but the indicator shows R. Also I have checked my TCU for uh, fluid damage and if it's fluid affected and it was not also my generic bluetooth cheap uh, scanner showed me that there is a p0705 uh, code and also my more expensive uh, scanner also confirmed that so i'm pretty sure that my gear shifter is faulty and I'm going to change that and I'm going to uh, actually fix the oil leak and this is going to happen in the second video so please like and subscribe and watch my second video thank you and have a good day